This is our 1991 Mercury Capri XR2 turbo convertible. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, it'll be a very slow paced walk around to the car. Uh, following that, you'll see video clips of the interior as well as under the hood. So you'll see up on the front here, just a couple little touched up scratches ahead of the driver headlight. It is original paint, one owner car, 32,000 miles from new. We'll come with all the paperwork. Uh, original owner was a friend of ours, his uncle, uh, who just passed away. Really, really, really nice car. Uh, comes with tons of records. Uh, over the course of those 32,000 miles, it was serviced almost exclusively at the original selling dealer, uh, Lincoln Mercury in Elmhurst, Illinois. Really fun, quick car. Uh, it's an oddball in the sense that it is a Italian wedge design, Ghia design, with a Mazda drivetrain manufactured by Ford in Australia and then sold in the United States as Mercury. Awesome color combo. Uh, I believe they call it the Platinum Silver. Contrasts really well with the gray cloth sports seats. Some red stitching on the seats as well. You can see the wheels are in really, really nice shape. No curb rash. There's a couple dings. There's one there, obviously, in the center, just above the wheel on the passenger quarter. Be aware of a ding there, as well as one in the lower door. Glass and light lenses are all clear and crack-free. Lights and signals are all functional. Tires are in really nice shape, but they're about 10 years old. Car does have a black convertible top that is in like-new condition. car was always garage kept, no paint work, really, really well taken care of. The underbody is just as clean as the outside, with a really minor bit of detailing it could be brought to phenomenally nice. Car has functional air conditioning, it's still R12, blows nice and cold, heat and fan work. drive, five-speed manual. No modifications from stock whatsoever. You can see the pop-up headlights, those are functional. And the headlamp switch was actually just replaced this summer. Overall, a really sharp looking car. Onto the interior. Again, the gray cloth has some red stitching. You can see that the airbag light flashes on the dash there. The uh, oil pressure gauge also jumps around a bit. Uh, there's a service record indicating that that was looked at in 2020, so you can dive into that further in the listing. Radio is functional, clock is functional, 32,000 miles is accurate. Speakers are all good. Like I said, the air conditioning blows cold. Condition's pretty outstanding. None of the, you know, scratches on the plastic that we often see you know, due to watches or rings, nothing like that. No wear on the dash itself. Power windows, everything's functional. You can see the gray cloth buckets. Nothing more than very minor wear. Outer bolsters are nice and intact. No fraying, no burst seams, nothing like that. Carpeting is very nice too. All original, it does have the uh, four floor mats with it and they're in good shape too. The convertible top is manual, not powered. 